You're watching the Philadelphia Mummers Parade on MeTV2. Sponsored by Live Casino and Hotel Philadelphia. Voted Best Casino in Pennsylvania. Welcome back to the 2023 Mummers Parade. We've been through the fancies, we've been through the wenches, and now the comics. The comics, they're really, you're gonna see a lot of funny parody type, really great performances, and, and funny. It's meant to be funny, it's meant to be comical, that's why they're called the comics. <laughs> So I'm looking behind us because I don't want to, you know, I want to make certain that we know what's coming. And we don't so. want to step on anybody either. Yes, we have, so there's a, there's three major mother clubs. So there's Landy, there's the Rich Porco's Murray, and then there's Good Timers. And so in between those, well, part of those mummers, uh, the mother clubs, will be individual clubs, and that's what we'll be seeing individually today. Nice. The Landy Comic Club originated in 1950. <laughs> So they've been in a they've been in a parade. What now? Oh, my goodness, for seventy some years. I imagine, Megan, that there are some people who don't know what it's like to not spend New Year's Day or the entire year preparing for this day with the mummers. It can only be, them. yeah. It can only be, you know. And and I think they get a little bit of a break during the summer. You know, you start to pick your theme. You start to you know, sketch out what you're going to do and, and, and everything. And then the summer's kind of a little bit off and then mum season kicks in right after Labor Day. Mum season. Mum season. So I'm looking at what's ahead with the Landy Comic Club. And the one thing that jumps out at me when I see their list of what they're going to do, I love the Philadelphia Pranking Authority. I know. <laughs> they actually do videos year round where they do like pranks and how fun. I don't want to be on the side of the prank. I don't want to be on the other side of it, but to watch it, they're really, really funny. And the, Landy is the most diverse club in the history of the Philadelphia Mummers Parade. Oh, explain that. So they are, they are membership included at Asian Brigade, Hispanic Brigade, uh, marching band, steel drum, and LGBTQ plus as well. So just a really diverse group. And they, their motto is to bring smiles to all the children's faces on New Year's Day. Oh, I love wonderful. it. Yeah. So, is it going to be? Is there going to be several jokes or several performances under Landy? Yes. Yes. So Landy will have, uh, I believe, it's four or five that we'll be seeing yes. through them. Five. Um, and we have a captain. We have the uh, pranking authority, Mayfair Mummers, Barrels Brigade, and the Jacks Brigade. And then we'll go into Rich Porco's Murray Comic Club, and then the Good Timers. And you're definitely going to giggle a lot, guys. So, <laughs> so uh, make sure you're looking out for yes. some of the really funny signs you're going to see. You're going to probably see people dressed up as political figures. It's kind of like what the comics are all about. Wow. And, and just a heads up, the Jacks Brigade, this is our love connection. There's a big surprise in real life. That you're, we're all going to witness. Oh, I can't wait. It's going to be see amazing. That. But don't say too much now. I'm not. Don't say too away. much. This is a big secret. Yes. You'll have a lot of people upset with you, but it is worth sticking around for. So I'm yes. glad you. I'm glad you told people. But this is this. Now, Megan, you would know this. Yes. You know what's coming up. Yes. Is that going to be a mummer's first? It will not be a first, but it will be the first this year. But uh, it doesn't happen often, so this is going to be a super special surprise. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. And this is um, Gene Fashini's 55th trip down Broad Street. He started at the age of 13. And this will be his third year as captain of the Landy Comic Club. Since 1928, did they just say? Yes. There's a cute play on words here. He's a pirate. He's dressed as a buccaneer, and he's selling corn for a dollar. So the buccaneer, little uh, double word play there. I love that. I got it. <laughs> Took me a second. Buc Took me a second. Ear. Buck and ear. Yes. Buck and <laughs> ear. You have to spell he's these things the out He's got the eye patch. Me. I mean, that's an official pirate right there. So now he's come. He's performed. He's passed. And now... I see that they put. I see that they put a little box down on the street. So this is setting up for the next performance. Yes, yes. So they want to make sure that everybody knows where they need to go. And here comes Jean. And 
here he goes. Oh, just in case the people like me that didn't get it, he has an ear recorder in his oh, body. He has actual ears of corn. <laughs> he has props. And Gene credits his mother's experiences uh, and the reason for pursuing acting. He's been in plays, TV, and film. Wow. And now he has his eyepiece out. He's found the map, it looks oh. like. Are we gonna find the hidden treasure? Still I would to put assume. this together yet. <laughs> oh, he found the box. Oh, and there's more corn. I would say that this performance is corny. <laughs> oh. Does he just continue dancing after that? Is that the... He's going to dance his way right on to the rest of the parade route because don't forget, after we see them on TV, they're still parading all the way down Broad Street to yes. Washington Avenue. He just won't do that bit every once in a while. One time with the bit. He's and probably then... going to do a lot of waving. <laughs> he was awesome. That was super fun. What a great theme. What a performer. Very. <laughs> I'd love Very. to know. I'd love to see his resume. I mean, I, you I just said for a moment a moment ago that he's yeah. on stage and he's on TV shows. It's a shame we don't have his credits. I know, and I mean, he said it, it all because of Mummery. That's what made him fall in love with it. And we hear that theme so often, over and over again, about how you know people are brought to the arts and they fall in love with music or um, dance, and it's amazing. And this is this is the pranking authority with Captains Elizabeth Fee and Salvador Cadron. And they are they formed in 2012 when a group of friends learned of the welcome to non-legacy mummers by the Landy Comic Club. Their theme is Flower Power, springing back to life on broad, a joyous statement on what's good and beautiful in the world. Well, I didn't know this. Look at the Philadelphia Pranking Authority is unique among mummers clubs. And each participant designs and makes their own costume. Wow. So most people hire out, right? That is correct. I mean, some people make their own, but the majority, you know, maybe just don't have that ability. And this club, them making their own is just, is really incredible and it makes it really special. It must make them feel so proud to show something that they made on their own out on the street. It says here their theme is flower power, springing back to life on broad. How appropriate for the 2023 Mummers Parade, and bringing it's feeling, back the life. And it's feeling like spring out here today. Yeah, and make sure think about the flower show, which here in Philadelphia I think is Love. the oldest in the nation. So, yeah, that'll be coming up before we know it. <laughs> so besides marching in the Mummers Parade, the Philadelphia Franking Authority occasionally gets together and they stage silly costume pranks around Philadelphia. So it's not all flowers. There's a psychedelic hippie. <laughs> I see an, an, army, an army man. A compost pile that everybody else is staying away from. Yeah. I don't know if I'd want that to be my costume, have to be honest, Larry. And to make it yourself. Yeah. And the merry old Land of Oz flower. They were poppies, right? Wasn't that poppies? Yes. In the, in the yes, that made you sleepy, right? That's right. Wow. I, I love that thing. everything is so different from person to person. Well, they all made their own costumes. Yeah. Great job. Now, so th this isn't just the mummers for this, for the uh, pranking, not parking. They do this year round. Yes. And so they show up at events, but you said they also do 
videos. They yeah. pranking videos. Yeah. Oh, YouTube? Is that where you can find them? I would assume so. And, um, it, right, I, I believe Instagram. Oh, they have their own Instagram. Yeah. Oh, that's that's Makes fun. Sense. That's really fun. I, you know, I'd like to see some of the things they wind up doing during the year. <laughs> well, you so can go to Instagram fun. and find out. So if you want to see them on Instagram, according to Dawn, <laughs> Pranking, not parking. If you don't find them, remember who told you to go there. Not right. the parking authority. They're not going to give you a ticket. They're going to give you a prank. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to come back with more of the comic division in just a moment as the 2023 Mummer's Day Parade continues on MeTV2. Stay tuned for more from the Philadelphia Mummers Parade on MeTV2. Sponsored by Live Casino and Hotel Philadelphia. Voted Best Casino in Pennsylvania.